Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we've got something a little different than I normally do because today we have got a grab bag from eBay. This one I ended up paying $32 for. So we're going to put a tally, say right there, for how much it's worth. I, like I said, paid $32 for it. The reviews and the description say you get upwards of $40 in value per box. But I want to see if that's true here, or I shouldn't say box, I should say bag. But if that is true, then I hope to make my money back today, and I hope to also share this experience with you. So I'm going to cut it open, and I'll be back in just a second. So I got it cut open, but because it's like a bag, and I don't really want to hold the camera, I think I'm going to set up my tripod. So like I said, I'll be right back in just one second when that's set up, and then we'll get started. This isn't the best angle, however, it'll have to work. So let's start pulling stuff out. Do you feel this? Let's see what it is. Oh, ooh, Philadelphia Mint, Denver Mint, all of the U.S. presidential designs. It's like a cardboard case here. 2009D and 2009P, you can see it. They're all in okay condition. I'm going to have to pause to do a little bit of research here, like I will probably have to do with a lot of these things, but I'll be right back in just a minute. So I went online and did a little bit of research, and sets similar to this, we're selling for about five bucks, so we will assign a value of five bucks to that. Out of 32, let me write this down so I don't forget. And we'll set that aside right here, and let's move on to the next thing. Let's see, I think we maybe even got like a coin folder here. What is this? What is this? First Commemorative Mint Incorporated. Oh, this is just the casing for this. So I was actually looking at the wrong thing, so this is it. So I was actually wrong with that. So, scratch that first price is worth about seven. I sell one similar to that, selling for about seven. So, that's what that is. It's pretty cool. Some first commemorative mint incorporated. All right, next thing looks like there's nothing left in here except for this $25 grab bag. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to reveal your name in case it's sensitive information to you. But I will let's see here. get it open here. It doesn't take too much time. Okay, perfect. This thing is wrapped really well. Oh, this is, it's, oh, it's literally a bag. Okay, okay, great. So, I can't see anything in there. I'm just going to reach in there and grab. What is this? Oh. Got a bicentennial. Oh, a bonus. A value of $2 on it. Honestly? I have a Bicentennial Kennedy right there, and I would only assign a value of one to it, so two is a little much. I'm going to assign a value of one dollar to the Bicentennial Kennedy. All right, and then next thing, we got a lot of flips in here, I can feel. So next thing, we have a 1896 G4 uh, V-Nickel. I don't know well you can see that there, but it says six dollars. Personally, I don't really agree with that. 1896 V-Nickel in this condition, probably only worth about a dollar at most. So I'm going to go a bit on the more expensive side and give it one dollar. All right, let me keep looking in here. Oh, I just happened to glance. I saw a Buffalo Nickel, so that's what we'll grab next. Buffalo Nickel, no mint mark, Philadelphia. Flip it over. 1936 Buffalo, right there for worth a dollar fifty. That's in good enough shape that I'll give it the dollar fifty. So, perfect. That is there. All right, next. No silver yet. I'm hoping we get some of that. All right, next is... Ooh, a 1917D wheat scent. Pretty cool. Uh, I'd say, because it's a teens with a mint mark, I'd give it... And it's an actually nicer shape. I'd say I'd give it a dollar, maybe, for that. So we'll add a dollar to our total. And we will continue on. Just one second. I'm writing all this stuff down. Hopefully we get some silver next. Oh, right as I say that, we got a Barber Dime. 1916 Philadelphia. They give it a G4 grade. And a $5.50 for price. Just give me a second. I got to do a little bit of research here. I'll be right back with the results on that interesting actually they put it at a value of 550 
on the Barber Dime. However, I did some research and discovered that 1916 Philadelphia Barber Dime in G4 condition like this actually could be maybe a little over G4. I don't, I'm not really good at grading. Oh, sorry about that. It's actually worth about $7. So we're going to add $7 to the total here. So you're, the total should be up to about $18.50 right now. And a $32 paid. Hopefully there's some good stuff in it. Let's see what's next. Oh, looks like we got a proof dime. Oh, no. Actually. No, this is a proof dime. They just put it as silver, uncirculated, 90% silver. But it is a proof dime. You can probably... Oh. I felt my, my camera lagged up for a second. Yep. You can see the... um. Like, the really shininess of it, that's definitely... 1963 Philadelphia, uncirculated, 90% silver. They put a value of $3 on it, and honestly, I'm going to have to agree with that. The $3 works. So we add $3 there. We update the total. And move on to the next item. Oh, we got another silver proof. Oh, this is interesting, actually. The 2009S... Um, 2009S proof, $15, 90% silver proof. It's the American Samoa, so it'll be a low mintage coin. And there, I will have to do a little bit more research on their price here, and I'll be right back with the results of that. So after doing a little bit of research, they put a price value of $15 on it, but that's honestly not accurate. That They overpriced it a little. It's actually only worth about $10, according to some of the eBay listings that I have seen. So we'll add $10 to the count. $10 actually gets us up to $31.50, which means if we, if we have one more item that's worth $0.50, cents, we'll officially make our money back. And there's more than one item in here, so actually, wait, no, I think there is in fact only one item left, but let's see what it is. Boom. Oh, I see a Denver Reverse right there. Haven't seen the year yet. Let's flip it over. Huh? Oh, well, just a 63 Denver normal um they have a price on it of six dollars like i said i'm gonna i have to do some more research on this but i'll be right back when i have figured it out so after some research on the silver quarter here about average condition that would be worth nine dollars so if we add nine dollars to our total that brings us to a grand total of Forty dollars and fifty cents, which is eight dollars, approximately eight dollars and fifty cents more than we paid. So anyway, that'll be it for this video, you guys. We made our money back quite a bit. We got four silver items, a sixty-three proof dime, ninety percent silver, sixty-three Denver quarter, uh, two thousand nine S proof, well silver proof American Samoa quarter, nineteen sixteen Barber dime. Got. These four got the, the, the 1896 V nickel, bicentennial half dollar, the bonus, the 1936 Philly Buffalo nickel, and the 17D wheat cent. Of course, we got this thing. Anyways, I feel like this was a really fun hunt. If you guys want to see me do more of these, um, please feel free to let me know in the comments and like the video. I'd love to do that more. This was super fun. But anyways, that'll be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more coin videos just like this one.